What's going on everybody? We're back with another video. It's Thursday. We got a long run tomorrow. So I want to set you guys through kind of a day before a long run for me, all the recovery stuff that I do. How do I get my body prepped? We talked a little bit about hydration in the last video. We're going to go in depth a little bit more, but guys, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. You want, you got some more ideas for some videos. Let me know, but let's get into it. All right. Today, I'm going to actually show you how you can get 20 grams of protein in real early in the morning, get your body starting off right, some anti-inflammatories, all that stuff. We're going to do that right here. So first off, right, the best coffee in the business, we got Laird Superfood. This is, it has lion's mane in it, some other mushrooms. This is a great product right here. It's not like you know, some coffees, they just have a ton of caffeine and everything. This is a little bit less, uh, more dialed down. It has a great taste to it. And I always start my day off with some Laird Superfood. Um, this is also, this is Laird Superfood Turmeric Coconut Creamer, right? The reason why I take turmeric is because it's an anti-inflammatory when you're running, when you're lifting and doing all these things. You want to get some anti-inflammatories in your body, allow your body to heal and recover. So when you're going out to to run, you're going to go smash a workout, you can do that. And then Pro Mix right here, we got the grass-fed collagen peptides. And listen guys, we're gonna put two scoops of this in the coffee, it blends right in, 20 grams of protein. I mean, you can't really beat it. So I already got the, the layered superfood brewing up right here. We're just gonna pour, we'll go ahead and get this cup going. guys so here we go this is in this cup of coffee right here we got a bunch of antioxidants and anti-inflammatories we got 20 grams of protein from pro mixes grass-fed collagen it mixes right in and we got layered superfood coffee you can't beat it it has a great taste as well just fabulous stuff so now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go get into some stretches get into my routine that get, really gets me set up for tomorrow as I said before, you know, preparation doesn't start the day of your long run, the day of, you know, competition, weeks, days before. So making sure the day before your toughest workout of the week, you're getting your body right. So let's do it. This is a day before a long run for me. Something I really want to talk about is how you can stay running 30, 40, 50 mile weeks consistently, also be in the gym, but also feel great, right? All three of those things are very important to training, being the best version of yourself. So I'm, gonna, I'm here to show you how I do it, some of the, the routine that I do, especially the day before a long run, right? Nutrition is super important. But doing these exercises is what allows me to show up every day with a passion unknown to mankind. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you some of my favorite exercises and then we'll get into what I do after that, right? piece of plastic that really digs into your hips. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how I use it. If you don't have this, that's okay. Um, but guys, like invest in yourself, right? Your body's the most important thing. And if it'll allow you to feel better, it's, it's done a lot of great things for me. Um, I've had it for around four years now. And, uh, you know, I definitely recommend it to a lot of people, especially if you're having lower back problems. This is something great. And really what you do, you're really just going to be laying on it. Um, so try and get in like the best position for you. 
I'm just gonna put this right here, right, right on my lower back, and I'm just gonna lean back on. It. I'm just gonna lean back on it, relax. We'll do is we'll flip around here, and we'll go ahead and put it right on our hips, right on, right on our groin area, and just wiggle it out. You'll feel it breaking up. Let's get a little massage, right? If you have a massage gun, if not, you can use like a hard, like a lacrosse ball or something else um, that can give you some resistance that can really like dig in, you know, dig into your muscle, dig into your tissue. So really, you know, I'll just go really whole body here from my ankles, really try to break it up there all the way on my lower back to my chest and my and my, uh, my upper back as well. So really just using a massage gun to allow your body to recover it has a ton of benefits, right? You want to dig a little bit deeper. You want to break it, uh, break up some of that, um, some of that muscle. And this allows you to recover and show up to the next day better. Um, so we're going to hit the massage gun a little bit here and I'll um, see how it goes. Guys, the foam roller, everyone has seen it, everyone's used it, right? But spending some time, right, if you don't have a massage gun, uh, if you don't have a hard crossbow, but you have a foam roller, these are good too, right? Lay out on them, roll out on them, right? You wanna get that, you know, I really love it for when I'm, you know, going after my Achilles, and my Achilles and my ankles tight, and also to go up to my calf, right? I think that's, that's where, like, um, having a foam roller is great. I prefer like a, a, a harder foam, foam roller rather than one of the soft ones, um, but that's just my preference. Whatever gets you out in, you know, into a room and just gets you stretching and allows you, um, allows your body to recover more, get more blood flow to those areas that are sore and break some of that up, um, that's, why, that's why we're doing this. So, you know, don't make excuses, right? Anyone can find like a lacrosse ball, something that's hard. You know, if you have a kettlebell, you can use a kettlebell all these different things, but, you know, do something and really get it, uh, you know, get your body moving. You don't want to be, the worst thing you can do is just be stagnant all day, right? Move a little bit, go to a yoga class, any of these different things. Um, you know, how I like to end it, though, you know, this is how I end each day. If you don't have these, it's, it, it's all right, but something that I definitely do, I do love, and that's my, you know, my fair body leg sleeps. Uh, these things are great. You know, you can you can set up a routine where it's you know 15, 20 minutes, or if you have 30 minutes, you know, you can go ahead, you can go ahead and do that. So I'll you know sit here and show you kind of how 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 it works, and you know, it just allows your body to get compresses your legs. And it just allows you, just like forces blood to shoot to those areas. And especially if you're, you're doing all this running, your legs are sore. Um, you know, this is an absolute great, a great tool to have. And something that, uh, is something that I highly recommend, you know. Um, if you have the money, you're able to, you know, get to a, get to a center that has these. Uh, I know they're pretty popular now, and a lot of places do have them. So, you know, I like to throw these on and really allow my body to recover. But no matter what you're doing, it's, you know, when I'm talking to my clients, when I'm talking to, uh, you know, the people that I'm training, recovery is so important. I mean, we take advantage of a lot of things. Like eating healthy is extremely, extremely important. Being hydrated is extremely important. And then doing this active recovery, where you're going to the gym, if you're in the sauna, right? You're doing yoga, you're out here, foam roller, massage gun, leg sleeves, whatever it is, get your body ready for the next day. Don't just show up to your long run. When you're training for a marathon, you show up to your long run and you didn't do any recovery, you were eating chips ahoy all day, right? You're not gonna feel the best. I wanna show up, I treat every long run like it's race day. Every long run is like race day for me, so I like the, the day before, just like the day before a race. I'm just locked in and focused to what I need to do. Um, but guys, invest in yourself, right? Instead of, you know, spending the money on, you know, 
some video games or whatever you're doing, go spend your money on, get a massage gun. I mean, there's thousands of them on Amazon, right? Get a foam roller, you know, get any of these things. Go buy a sew right. Allow your body to recover because, you know, when you can be the best version of yourself, that's when you feel the best. And I know just personally, if I go out there and I have a bad workout and I don't train well that day, I'm going to feel shitty the rest of the day. I'm not going to feel good because I take that, you know, that's the, my workouts are extremely important to me. So I don't want there to be any excuses. And when I show up on that track, on the trail, whatever I'm doing that day in the gym, I got to hit a certain number on my weights and I don't hit that, I'm pissed. So I want to make sure when I show up, I know I've done everything in preparation to lead up to that day, to lead up to that moment, right? So I hope that's what you're doing. Hope you guys can watch this video and it you know, gives you some insight. But drop a com comment, like, subscribe. You want to see something else. You want to talk about some stretches that you like. I love to. You know, I'll try some of them out as well. But you know, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button and leave some comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all your love and support. Lynn out, y'all have a good one.